More than 17,000 communications workers of America employees in the Southeast started their strike against AT&T last week. Workers in nine states, including Tennessee, walked off the job after months of negotiations. Uh, CWA has filed an unfair labor practice charge against the company for bargaining in, quote, bad faith. Workers on strike have been protesting away from their jobs for nearly two weeks now, saying AT&T is sending representatives who allegedly don't have the authority to make decisions in new contract negotiations. Our members would love to be back to work providing quality service to our customers, and they will as soon as AT&T sends representatives to the table to have the authority to make decisions. CWA says workers will continue to strike until the company is ready to move forward with the contract. About 300 people are involved in the protest here in East Tennessee. You see some of them there. We reached out to AT&T. A spokesperson said in part, quote, we are committed to reaching a fair deal for our employee members of CWA District 3 with wages that outpace projected inflation and many other benefits that reflect today's competitive job market. We've successfully negotiated three agreements already this year, they say, and they say they've invited a federal mediator to join the negotiation.